Hey, welcome back everybody, Mr. Paperman here. We're out here in the tropics again. Out here relaxing and just chilling out here in the tropics. And uh, in this episode, I wanted to try to catch up on our fruit smoothie bar signs. And uh, I know it's been a, quite a while since we've done that. So I want to get that definitely done because I, 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 I really don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Everybody has placed some great comments on what they'd like to see built, what would look better, and things like that. So I want to kind of start off and, and put some shout outs to the uh, people who uh, have put some comments on here. And uh, Noka Official Gaming says the lighthouse flooring needed to be changed. It was uh, thatched I put in there, and he says you've got all that extra gray wool. Why not use it for the flooring? I think it'll look a lot better, and that's what I did. And you know what? It looks great. So I wanted to definitely place his sign up there uh, for his uh, suggestion and a suggestion we use and a suggestion that turned out to be a great piece of advice. And that's what we did. So over here on this side, we've got Mr. Own Age. And he says, hey, you should build a sifter room. You've got one sifter, and you should build a sifter room. That means more than one sifter. So why not? One sifter, it, you know, it takes, you know, 10 seconds or whatever it does to sift some sand. But if we had, you know, 10 of these going, we could just pile sand into 10 different sifters and get that much more out of it. I think that's a great idea, so we're going to do that. So that's on the board. That is definitely on the board to do, and we are going to do that. John Quinn says that mahogany wood will not burn in the stove, and no, it won't. So if you're out cruising around and you are stuck, look for other wood other than mahogany. Uh, you can get some from the underbrush. They have, if you can see, it's kind of dark right now, but off in the distance, you can see under the tree right there, which is made out of mahogany, there's some underbrush area, and you can get some regular wood there and burn that instead if you absolutely need to. So a great piece of advice. Thank you, John Quinn. That's great advice. And uh, TYKO Designs um, says you can trade shells for nets. So once you get some shells out of your sifter, you can use those shells and then go to the Koa tribe and trade them in for a net. And that will get you your net that you need to catch your fish for your fish tank. It's a great piece of advice. Thank you, TYKO Designs. Thank you for that. And then uh, Mandude1020 says the dirt blocks need to be placed next to the grass blocks in order for the grass to grow. So if you remember in my past video when I put the sheep pen together I had placed down some dirt blocks because I had some extra dirt blocks and I waited quite a long time for it to turn into grass and it never did. So I cheated a little bit. I'm sorry I cheated a little bit, but I put in some grass blocks to get it to go. But what he is saying is to use this block that we have here, trace it along, and then when it ends the grass, you can put in regular bare dirt and add that to where you want it to, the trail, all the way over to where you want and the grass will eventually grow all the way across into the spot that you want it to grow to and then there you go you're all set so excellent 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 advice for anybody who's playing out there and uh, who wants to get around that whole thing and I definitely apologize that I, sh I should have waited but I didn't and uh, I went ahead and put in the grass block but uh, that's the only thing I've done I do have to say that's the only thing I have done everything else has been done survival only this is that's the whole title of this is the Tropicraft survival so that's what we're doing and uh, that's what we're doing 
So the next sign I've got here is, uh, let's see here. There's so many signs I don't know who's, 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 a, who's, who's on first and who's on second. Let's go. All right, so I think that's it. Now, if your name has not been on the Tiki Bar and you've noticed it hasn't been on here, let me know and I will definitely put it up for you. But uh, definitely wanted to let you know everything is going smooth. We've got some stuff going on. And uh, let's see. Let's see if we... Do we have our shares with us? Let's see. All right. Let's at least let's at least share some sheep and uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, what? The? Um, hello. Aren't you a little? Aren't you a little a ways away from your pen? Um. What are you doing over here? You're supposed to be in your pen. Okay, and you're not supposed to be here. And now, Mr. Shorty Shorts. Are you going to come up? Oh, you are. All right, line up, line up, line up, line up. Okay. Well, I don't quite understand why our sheep are outside of our pen. Um, I don't... I'm, I'm thinking that it's not a glitch because that other sheep was way over here on the other side of our... That other sheep was way over here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was way over here. I don't know. Well, we'll just count it as a glitch. I'm hoping I'm hoping our sheep aren't getting lost. It doesn't look like they are. But uh, we definitely need to... Oh, sorry, Mr. Sheep. I'm just here to share you. I just need your wool. Man, sounds like a crazy zoo. Cross between all the cows and sheep. Yes, I'll take your wool. I'll take your wool. You know what? It's well, it's pretty interesting that I can get a lot of wool in a short period of time. Sweet. What do we got? 22. Are you break dancing on top of the top of the garden? Yeah. See, I think he's completely gotten away, and that's not a good thing. What? All right, well, you just keep a lookout. No, that's all right. Yeah, he just... Woo, woo, woo. You just do it. You just dance it up. You just dance it. Hey, you're free. You're free. You do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. You're good. You're good. You go. You go, Mr. Sheep. You go. All right, so we'll, I guess we'll just leave him alone. I don't know. We've got enough. We've got enough to do what we need. But, uh, you know, again... I just wanted to say, again, we've got a lot of people out there who are just enjoying the video, and uh, this series is going to continue. We've got more than 100 subscribers, at least 100 subscribers. We've got more than that now, and uh, I definitely want to let you know if you're watching this for the first time, subscribe because we're going to get a lot more coming and uh, you're going to learn a lot more about Trapper Craft. And uh, if you haven't had a chance, watch the last videos, uh, the, the videos beforehand. We go, it goes all the way from the very beginning. And uh, definitely give those a watch. And if you like the videos, let me know. Leave a comment. And uh, we will see you soon. And until next time, don't forget your flip-flops. And remember that beach towel. And we'll see you soon. Bye.